Sugar. Salt. Two substances that may seem harmless, but can hurt your body and your health. Teens as well as adults are eating way too much sugar. Consuming excess sugar causes weight gain, increased risk of type 2 diabetes, and increased risk for other diseases as well. The same is true with salt. Eating too much salt is harmful to your body because it leads to high blood pressure, heart disease and stroke, kidney disease, and other dangerous health conditions. The problem is that we're eating way too much sugar and salt. That's because sugar and salt are packed into the foods we eat every day. We don't even realize that we're overdosing on them. What happens to your body when you're overdosing on salt and sugar? And what can you do about it? That's what this program is all about. Table salt, the salt you see in salt shakers, is a chemical compound made of sodium and chloride. On the periodic table, these elements are represented as Na for sodium and Cl for chloride. Together, NaCl makes salt, but it's the sodium part of salt that we need to concentrate on. Sodium is a mineral that's necessary for human life. It helps regulate fluid in the body and also plays an important role in the normal functioning of nerves and muscles. It has multiple different functions in the human body, but two of its major functions is to control and regulate the water levels in your body. And controlling that's very important. Too much water can create too much pressure and actually cause damage to tissue like hypertension or high blood pressure. And sodium is also used to help with creating an electrical event to allow electrical signals to go through the body so you can send information rapidly through the body. So if you step on a nail, I can send that information rapidly to your brain so you know not to push down. The fact is, we need very little sodium to have our bodies function properly, about 150 milligrams each day. But the average teenager is consuming more than 22 times that amount, or more. Do the math. That's 3,300 milligrams or more each day. If you compare that to how much sodium is in one teaspoon of salt, um, there's probably, what, 1,500 milligrams in a teaspoon of salt? So one teaspoon of salt is almost 10 times more than you need.